hey, let's talk a little bit about the human anatomy and physiology. Within our body, there are millions and millions of small functional units called cells. Cells are the smallest workers of the human body. There are many cells in the body, each with its own functions. Cells aggregate together to form different types of tissues. Bone tissues, or osteos for example, give the body structure. They're firm and tough so it can support our weight of movements. Our muscle tissues, or myos, are attached to our bones to provide movement of the body structure. Muscles are made of protein filaments called actin and myosin pulling together to move our bones. The integument to the system, or the skin, protects us from pathogens outside of our body. This protection is known as the first line of defense. Now we know the main structures. What provide energy for these cells? You see, in order to make energy, the cells need two elements, oxygen and glucose. When we breathe, oxygen goes into our lungs. This is processed by the respiratory system. The oxygen is then transported by red blood cells throughout our entire body via the capillary system. Glucose, combined with oxygen, are both involved in cellular respiration, a powerful process that creates ATP, the source of energy for all cells. So, how do we get nutrients such as glucose, you ask? For starters, glucose are in a lot of things we eat. It is broken down from things like rice, bread, and even sugars. When we eat, our mouths begin the first step of digestion mechanical processing. Mechanical processing involves basically chewing up the food. This makes the food much smaller. The food is then transported down to the stomach by the esophagus, a long tube of muscle. This process movement of the food is called peristalsis. This is a wave-like contraction which pushes food into the stomach. This is how people are able to drink upside down because the muscle pushes the fluid into the stomach. In the stomach, enzymes and hydrochloric acid are released to help further break down food. At this stage, the mixture of food, enzymes, and hydrochloric acid is known as chyme. Chyme is then transported to the small intestines where nutrients such as glucose are absorbed, then to the large intestines where water is absorbed, and finally the colon where the material is compacted into feces and ready to be pooped out by the rectum. With that concludes my lecture on anatomy and physiology. I hope you learned something today. Bye-bye!